hello everyone welcome to another tutorial video today we will be continuing our next cloud series um, and we will talk about the antivirus scanner application for next cloud so we have successfully installed next next cloud we've learned how to um, share our folders we've uh, mounted some external shares uh, using smb um but you want to make sure that when people are uploading files on your next cloud server um that they're being scanned and um, checked for malware or viruses um so this is where we uh come to using clam av so if you don't know clam av is an antivirus um, app for linux and uh, we're going to use that install that and use that on our next cloud server so in order not to waste time we're going to go straight into this video once again you want to log in as administrator and once you do that you're going to go to apps and you want to search for the antivirus app so once you search for that app if you don't have it downloaded already you're going to download and enable the application and once that's complete we want to go into administration services or settings and now we want to go to um, security so once you get there you want to scroll down and find the antivirus for files so once you come here we don't have to do anything we're just making sure that it's installed um, you're not going to have any of these settings for now so we're going to go back to the command line and at this point we have to go ahead and run this command to install clam av unless your unix or linux machine already has clam av installed um, you have to do this so to be safe you're just going to run this command apt get install clam av and clam av clam dash clam av dash daemon uh, we're going to run this as sudo obviously and as you can see it says mine is up to the latest version if you don't already have this you're going to install it follow the prompts and complete the installation so once that's done you're going to type the next command to make sure that it is running so we're going to do um system ctl status clam av so we're going to run this as sudo so once you run that you're going to see um the, you're going to see that your clam av is running if your clam antivirus is not running if it says stopped or not enabled um you want to run the command um sudo system ctl and then you want to change this to you want to change status to enable and then you run that and once that's complete um, you want to change you want to now do restart okay to restart the clam av daemon once you run those commands um, the only other thing you need to do is check one more time to make sure that it is actually running and you don't get no errors once everything is good we can now head back over to our next cloud and you want to there's a couple of options on here so you want to select the option um, clam av daemon socket and once you select that option um, this should auto populate if it doesn't um, you want to type in uh, the directory for the socket so I'm just gonna show you guys that once you install clam av um, it actually uh, creates that directory so ls okay we're gonna cd in there and if we ls you're gonna see the clam d.ctl which is what you need to put in here so you need to put in the full directory var run clam av clam d.ctl once you do that uh, you want to set the stream length if this doesn't auto populate you want to set it to 26 21 4 4 0 0 bytes and then you want to put minus 1 for no limit and then you want to do only log when infected files are found during the background scan because clam av is going to do background scans um, you can set it to only log uh, mine is set to only log 
um, I only want it to watch for newly to only stop uploading for uh, malicious files um, for the background scans it should just log it and I should be able to see that in the clam AV logs so you can set yours to delete and test this and see how you like it but I'm just gonna leave that to the default and then once you're done you hit save and you should see a green saved um response if you see anything else it means you're having an issue so you have to go back and make sure that your clam av um uh daemon is uh, actually running or your clam av set service is actually running and has no errors once that's complete and that's all you need to do so now what we're going to do is go ahead and test that our clam av actually works so in order for us to test that our clam AV actually works, um, I went ahead and um, using ICA. If you don't know about ICA, you can read about it. It is an open source project. Um, they have a test, some test malware files or malicious files that you can download and do some test, um, some testing in your environment to see if your AV scanner is gonna catch this. Um, these are not actual malicious files. These are files that are made to look like malicious files. Um, that way you can do your testing on your own safely. Um, you can use something else if you do have another way to test it, but we're just going to use ICA because that's easy. So we'll go back to our Geek Together um, Next Cloud. I downloaded the ICA zip file. So I'm just going to take that and try to upload it. And you should see on here we are being screamed at and yelled at by our malware protection telling us that it detected a virus uh, file so the file is not going to be uploaded and if we refresh we can see on here that the file was indeed not uploaded so if we go back to like administrative settings um you go to login you can also see on here it says that it detected a malicious file and so the upload was not completed so this brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions do not forget to leave it down at the comment section below please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you guys